What is going on everybody, BrickBooter here and welcome to a brand new episode of iCraft SMP. In today's video, we're actually going to be doing some, something very, very cool. We got a little mini build, about a one episode project here. So if you guys do enjoy and want to see more of these like shorter projects, let me know about of course leaving a like and subscribing and all that good stuff. But on the path, you can see there's all these different little builds and I decided to claim an area over here. And this area here is going to be mine, guys. And I'm very, very excited to put something in this area of the world. It's going to be very, very fun. And I'm excited. And I think I know what we're going to be building here. Now, I know some people have built like a similar-ish thing along the path. But it's not obviously my like exact version. So it's unique in that regard. But we do kind of need to sleep. I don't know where any beds are. So we might have to fly all the way back to spawn to be honest, but that's no big deal. But yes, so we're gonna be building some form of like ruins along the path. I think that's what I wanna do as far as my contribution to the path. I really couldn't be there for much of the path building that they that the entire like I crafted is a group. So I'd like to... All right, I won't sleep anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I won't sleep. Sorry about that. But, <laughs> Jen, oh my goodness, I should have got out of the bed sooner. I should have asked for something. But, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get this project on the roll. Okay, I avoided the phantom at least. Lulz. Yep, phantoms are a 1.13 thing, and they are deadly sometimes. Hatching turtles are a bit. Coolio. I'm filming a vid. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our design here. So we're gonna be building some form of like ruins type thing. And I wanna make like a circular-ish ruin. So we're gonna go six blocks like that, three out. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to make like, we're starting off just making something very basic here, which is just like a circle. But the ruins is not gonna look, uh, the circle won't like exactly stay a circle, if that makes sense. Four, five, six, yeah, boom, 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 and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we got the perfect circle there, but of course this is not gonna stay a perfect circle. Cause that just, you know, it doesn't like it won't really work as far as like ruins are concerned. But it's just starting off that way. So that way we have like a baseline here. We also need a little bit of dirt, so I'm just gonna go ahead and like rip a little bit of this up here. I think it should be good enough. All right, let's get off of there before we die to all those mobs. Okay, so right down here, we should be able to get started on our little ruins on the side of the path, which is our little contribution here, yeah, a little contribution to the bridge. Okay, uh, path or whatever. Let's go ahead and do this and just break all the stuff and uh, we'll place the chest here or whatever. Why is this not connecting? They must have done something with 1.13 chests that I do not understand. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. Okay. Never mind. I do understand it. But let's get started on this. Okay. So the first thing I do want to do is some of these are going to come in a little bit. So like this is going to get brought in. Same with this. And by bringing this in in like these little spots, it's going to change the whole shape kind of and make it a little less of a circle. Cause we don't really want that perfect circle shape. That's just kind of like the basis, I guess, if that makes sense. Like a little like foreground building, if that makes sense. So we can kind of get like the core idea down, but I want to change the shape up so it's not so like planned out, if that makes sense. Now we are going to kind of get like a little head start here on like the place you're going to walk in from because I do want you to actually have like an entrance point in if you want to go inside we're gonna be mixing a lot of different blocks in if you couldn't tell by this I think we're gonna try that and we'll do the same thing here and I want this to kind of like arch over so let's see if I can get this to work how does that look that it works okay it's, I'm not sure yet we have to see the vision but it should hopefully work pretty, pretty good once it's all said and done. Let's go ahead and throw some andesite now up there and get like a little top thingy bob. We're not gonna figure out really too much of the plan and we're just gonna kinda 
like go with the flow and just see what we end up making essentially is what I'm kind of thinking more or less for this ruins because I don't want to I don't really want to force anything if that makes sense I just kind of want to see what we can create and we're going to kind of go for like a very like B double O style on this which in my opinion is like a lot of different textures and really really busy and that's kind of like the styling you're going for and it's going to work okay at least it works for beat ups so we'll see if I can make it work for me. Alright, let's do that. Do that. And what about if we get like something underneath there? Not that. Like that. Boom. Okay, we need to get some more cobblestone materials though. So let's go ahead and get over here. And let's do this. And make a ton of slabs because we're definitely going to need those. We're also going to need a ton of stairs. Okay, so this, this is looking pretty good over here. But I wonder, can we like... Kind of get it more, uh, oh, there we go, something like that. Maybe, mm, I don't know, it needs to be connected. What about this? Nah, there we go, that'll work. So we kind of have like a little window, like arch shape type thing there, it works. I think at least. We're gonna go like this, gonna go like that, do this. We're just trying to get like a lot of different textures in here, that's kind of like the plan as far as what we're going for is getting a lot of different textures a lot of different shades of gray are going to be used in this because it's just like it makes the most sense i do want to try to mix in a little bit of this like concrete powder gray because it's a very like different shade of gray when you when you compare it to the other ones and it kind of matches like the uh, stone brick slab or the stone slab if any of the textures were to be similar in a sense but it's different enough that i like it you know what I mean? That it's not too close. I also just came to the realization that we don't want cobblestone to be like the universal block of the bottom level. So we're gonna kind of swap some of that out quickly here just so that way things look a little different because if it's all cobblestone, that's not gonna look that good. So let's do something like that. That should work, okay. Um, we gotta get more different like shapes in there which is why we got the stairs, it's why we have the slabs, etc. Because those things are really uh, crucial for changing up like the overall flow of a lot of the things and it'll, it'll look okay. It's gonna be like our ruins. I'm not sure if it'll be like the coolest thing and everybody's gonna stop for it, but it's just like another detail along the path. So when players are walking across, of course, they can, you know, just have like a more populated path and it just makes it seem more full in my opinion. So, and I've noticed a lot of other people are doing similar things with building things along the path, so I figured, why not? Let's do that. And we could take that part out. Yeah, well, let's rotate this. Let's go for that. I just want the bottom one, like that. There we go. Boom. Well, then maybe this slab should be changed. Wrong way to that. There we go. And then change this one here a stair going like that there we go i like this we can even maybe throw an iron bar in there yeah let's try that what does the iron bar look like i mean we do have all these iron blocks which we used for placing out our initial thing and i know you're thinking brick you just spent a ton of iron well, we have a public iron farm so not much of a worry in my eyes let's do that there we go it works we can't get one up there it'd be really cool if you could throw a half slab one there but you can't or like a smaller bar but you can't what about here Mm, I don't know, I'm not really sold on that one, to be honest, but we'll see. We could just throw it on, we could throw it on like the outside too, like this. Actually, I kind of like that, but I don't want to overdo it too much, but I do like that look. I'm not going to lie. It does look pretty good, so maybe we should throw a few of them on there. There we go. And let's do that and do that. We're going to move the crafting table. And alrighty. Hmm. Do something like oh my god what is attacking me? that is a zombie okay <laughs> all right we got it no problem none at all okay let's keep going on this room because it's not really high, like, tall enough like the, the height of it definitely matters in this element also i don't really need these tools so i'm gonna take them off my bar so i can hold more uh blocks and stuff to play around with too much cobble let's go with that i don't really like how much cobblestone is being used. Like a lot of cobble is being used in comparison to everything else.
But if we can just keep on going here as far as like placing things down. And yeah, I know this is a bit more of a chiller, a lot more quiet episode. I want to I wanna know, what do you guys think about these? Just a little more, I don't know, like focused, I guess, in a way. On um, achieving a goal and less about like commentary. And like, what should I talk about as I build these small little projects? Like, should I do story times or what type of stuff do you want to see? Okay, what do I think about that? I think that could work. Like, honestly, that's not terrible. It's a little bit on the lower side, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. Like, is that so? I don't know if it's such a bad thing. We'll see. Okay. Now, we do need to head back to our base at spawn to get some more stuff because, well, actually, we don't really need to because we have gravel here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. So, we can just kind of break some here because I need to get a piece of flint because I want to be able to light a fire inside. A good thing we have a flint very easily there with our efficiency shovel. And then we'll do this. And boom, boom. We're going to throw almost like a camp thing inside here, I think. I wasn't really like initially planning on doing something like this, but I think it makes a lot of sense actually in the grand scheme of things. Also, make some bark blocks. There we go. How do I place this so it lines the way I want it to? Oh my gosh. I'm still learning how to place bark blocks because I haven't really used them all that much. Kind of throw some in here. Kind of make like, I don't know, something like that will work, I guess. Yeah, something non-universal. And then we could literally throw a fire like that. Oh, but if, if it rains, it'll... Right? Or will it? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know that that's a mechanic or not. If rain will impact it. Will it? I'm not even sure. Well, either way, I think what we'll do is we'll do this. And we'll just cover it anyway. Either, either way, it can, it can look pretty good if we cover it. But I might just be having a dirt moment here. We're going to do something like this. No. No. Can I place this stupid trap door? There we go. All right. Right here. Right there. Throw a log. Throw a fire. Just do some of those. I honestly don't know. I'm not the best at building campfires, but maybe something like this will work. I don't know. I mean, I also have a low fire pack, so obviously the fire will come up more for the rest of the eye crafters. It's just for me, it's low fire for like PvP based stuff. Uh, I just realized that this one here is placed the wrong way. There we go. So are this one. This one's placed the wrong way. There we go. And then so is this one. I still need to learn how to place these a lot better. Okay, we got that. But now I want to get some of this stuff. And give me, what is it called? It's called coarse dirt. I want some of that. Because I want to kind of mix some of this in the floor here. And I would use my shovel. But my shovel is so fast that it'll break way too much of this floor. And we'll lose a lot of the grass. And it's just not worth it for the intended feature. Like we're not trying to put too much of this stuff in here. It's just supposed to kind of like add a little bit more brown into it. Cause obviously we're trying to go for neutral colors here. So a lot of browns, a lot of grays. Um, we might be able to throw tiny bits of pop in color with an idea we might potentially end up using. We'll have to see how it goes. But first we got to go ahead and do this anyway. Uh, we do also need, how do we escape? Okay, we can actually parkour out right here. That's good. I do like that there's a parkour way to get out. I'm always a fan of that because that's the way that I usually end up leaving builds and stuff is through like parkour routes. It just, I don't know. I never like to use the door, I guess. Uh, okay, let's just get all of this stuff in here. We're just going to use like what we have in our inventory as far as that goes. That should be like plenty once we just use the last nine. Uh, like that'll be more than enough. We can even throw some here and here. And then we're going to pull the path block up with a tiny bit of this as well. Uh, boom. Okay. Keep the gravel in one slot. And we we'll go like a little bit like that. Like that. And go doink, doink, doink. And then we throw some path blocks in there. And that should work pretty, pretty good. I think that will work. As far as lighting is concerned in here, it's not perfectly lit up. Like usually I keep my lighting 
uh, like a you know bright mode so for videos you guys can see it a lot better but uh, we don't really have much as far as lighting goes we can maybe pop a hidden sea lantern in there with like a little hidden leaves thing in one of these corners like right down here maybe we can get away with that yeah we can try it at least okay can we stop having swim mechanics so we can actually get out of here now boom uh, we're gonna throw this one down oh my god the zombies in here right now <laughs> And then we go like that, and boom, that, that hides it a little bit, just adds a little bit more lighting. It's not perfect, but it should be enough lighting in my eyes. I don't really want to overlight the place. We also do have a torch we can throw right there. Uh, I don't like the torch that we can throw up there. That could work. And we might take some iron bars and sprinkle them on the inside here as well. I don't want to overdo it though. That's the thing, is I almost feel like we're adding a lot of texture here with the iron bars and maybe it's texture we don't even need to add but I'm kind of tempted to continue to keep adding it uh, boom that's not what I want I need to change this out for like a stair that's what I need give me a stair block I hear a cobblestone stair that'll work because I don't want it to connect at the bottom so doing that will make it so it doesn't connect perfect okay brilliant we'll do that do this one do that there we go that should be good I'm not gonna do any more cuz never mind we're gonna do a little bit more <laughs> there we go that's good I think that is perfect and honestly pretty successful episode if I do say so myself I know it was a little bit slower pace as far as commentary and it was a lot quieter or whatever you want to call it more chill or laid back or whatever the word you want to use is but overall I think it was quite the success and I think we accomplished building the goal which was to build the build we ended up making and i'm proud of it i think it turned out pretty good so if you guys did enjoy make sure to hit that like button and tap the bell see you in the next video after you subscribe of course but i'll see you in another icraft smp video thank you so much for watching